<laughs> What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. All right, day four of the 14 day Hong Kong quarantine challenge. <laughs> um, I just want to give a shout out to everybody on social media for reaching out and then saying hello. Um, there were some questions that came along the way, which uh, I thought would be good to consolidate and share with you here. Um, a friend of mine, Karen from Cornell, she asked how we're getting our groceries. So, um, uh, you know, we order stuff on Park and Shop actually, or some other places. And, uh, but the delay has been about like a week and a half for supermarkets, which is um, pretty annoying. And uh, luckily we have family here to um, grab some stuff for us. And, um, uh, but Carmen Chan actually mentioned there's a place called Josun.com and uh, GreenCommon.com, which are uh, places where you can get fresh vegetables and fruits uh, delivered directly from farmers. Um, and also, um, HKTV Mall is a pretty good place. I've been always ordering stuff from them uh, for other items and didn't realize it's a supermarket section. So uh, I checked it out and they actually deliver about, you know, between the two to four days, depending on where you live. So, uh, so we should get um, one set tomorrow. But it should be good. Yeah. Uh, I, for one, am getting my peanut butter but uh, it's hard to find like good natural peanut but butter um in hong kong apparently yeah spent a lot of time researching that one too <laughs> yes um <coughs> what what's this pepper yes this one mm, want to try this one yeah you want to try a little mm, nope how about it's, this one what's this sauce yeah. Here. Is it the rooster? <laughs> yeah, there's a rooster on there, yeah. It's a sriracha sauce. Yeah. It's a spicy. Yeah. <laughs> don't like that. You don't like that? A little seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's stuck on my hand. So we like to put this on the rice. Yeah, yeah it's pretty awesome. We have seaweed we have flavoring. Oh, he likes seaweed in general. We have other types. Yeah. Mommy, you have one minute. I know. It's stuck on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just reporting in on this bracelet, it is get. You know, it is. It didn't bother me at first. He, the guy put it on actually pretty nicely. It wasn't too tight. It's not. It's not too loose either. But uh, it does weigh on you, and especially when you're typing. I was typing something out for the SEMP. Um, it was. Uh, you know, it is in the way all the time and uh, it gets annoying so I'll be really happy when this bracelet comes off. Stick it in there. Sideways, sideways, turn it. Turn it. Yep. There you go. Very good. Yeah. All set. Thank you. You're my uh, new camera assistant, huh? So today there was no news for um, the, the test for um, COVID-19 on me and Joyce. But uh, I guess we submitted our sample on on uh, day two, so hopefully tomorrow we'll get some results. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll let you know if we do. But they did say that we, you know, if they're too busy, because I can imagine they are probably flooded with a lot of people, uh, we may not get a call. So no news could be good news tomorrow. But then we'll be waiting and thinking if something's going to happen or. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Uh, day three's video, um, Jake's, um, his test results came back um, good, that he's not, um, he's not infected with the uh, COVID-19. So we're thinking that likely he's, because he's okay, then we're okay. And the only risk is uh, catching something at the airport, which, um, yeah. A woman named Carol who's been watching some of our videos uh, she just recently finished and um, all she has to do is uh, snip the um, the band off and uh, they sent her a text message saying hey you're all set and you're free to go um, but uh, you know congrats to her and uh, that's very exciting that I, we don't have to do any kind of additional process like I mean the, you know that the bands can just kind of I don't know sit on our mantles or something at achievement um like we did a marathon one two three four five six seven eight nine 
But overall, the because it's a little bit gloomy, I gotta say on day four, I'm just feeling like tired and lethargic. Ah, but maybe all this um, feeling tired is from a bit of jet lag, which I'm terrible at um, beating. But this time, at least I'm adjusting to the time schedule very well, according to Joyce. Um, but uh, in any event, day four is finished, and I will check in with you on day five. So um, stay safe, everybody, and I'll talk to you again soon. Why is he?